Steph Curry finally did it. What's up guys? I know it's been a minute since the last time. I'm sorry, been dealing with a lot of changes. For one, I'm a US citizen now. I released an album called Windows and you may have noticed I'm in a different setting. I moved to a new apartment. So the setup is kind of under construction. Anyway, we have some really cool shoes to discuss today. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the sneaker reviews and other random videos that I upload. Oh, and become a member so you can get cool badges, have the ability to get member shout outs, and you're probably gonna be the first person to watch this video because you get the ability to watch videos before they even drop. So, as you know, our boy Steph Curry is a four-time NBA champion, and he's also a finals MVP. He's the first player to get three MVPs in one season, all-star MVP, conference finals MVP, and then finals MVP. So we have a special pair of Currys to talk about today. I even have on my Warriors blazer, not to be confused with the Trail Blazers, who are also owned by the Warriors. But today, we're talking about the Under Armour Curry 9, Now You See Me, also known as the Abby Kadabi pair, because it's a Sesame Street collaboration. This pair released on June 17th for 160 US dollars, now let's jump into the features and see what we paid all that money for. Starting with the base, you have that Under Armour Warp technology. It's all that interwoven fabric. Super secure yet breathable for the foot. There's more breathability as you move upwards to the tongue, which is mesh. Got some skinny white laces in there with some blue tick marks. Always love the fuzzy pull tab on the Curry 9 tongue. It's pink and buried in all that fuzz. It does say Curry going straight down. The rear portion of the sneaker is composed of a strong suede. Also has some ridges going down the back. This feels really weird sitting. And on the lateral side of the back, you do have that Curry brand logo. And you can see Abby Kadabi peeking at us from this tab. I'll be honest, I watched Sesame Street as a kid, but I have no idea who Abby Kadabi is. Maybe her agent lobbied for a bigger role once I stopped watching but very proud that she has her own Curry colorway. But yeah, okay, we all know about the midsole on the Curry 9, really on the Curry 8s too, anything Curry brand so far, they're always going to be white. You have that flow technology on the sole which makes it a bit more grippy and causes for better traction when you're on the court. My issue has always been that the sole just can't be another color. Even though it looks a bit creamish here, but Under Armour did add a little section at the top of the midsole leaking from the base. And this has some of that pink dropping down. You also have some paint splotches with light blue and purple in there, even a little bit of white. I guess that's a solid compromise, but I'm just not fully satisfied yet because I do think there should be the possibility of making an all black curry nine, especially when you have all of these colorful uppers, you should be able to play around with the color on the sole. But it is what it is. Hopefully they find a way to change that by the time they get around to doing the Curry 4 Floatros. Flipping over to the outsole. Wait, if you can make the sole glow in the dark, why can't you change the colors on this? Anyways, that doesn't matter, but the outsole is almost identical to what we had on the Curry 8, which I have a whole playlist of reviews on. Feel free to check that out. But here on the outsole, you have a bunch of different patterns in the flow sole. The minor tweak is the two plates right there in the middle. On the Curry 8, it was just one plate that displayed the Under Armour logo. Now you have the Under Armour logo, as well as Steph Curry's signature. Steph Curry, he's a living legend. It's his shoe. You know, he deserves a plate. But anyway, we've explored the features of the Under Armour Curry 9, Now You See Me also known as the Abby Kadabi. Now it's time to slap these on feet and see how they feel.
I definitely appreciate the fit of the Curry 9 a lot more than the Curry 8. What it all boils down to for me is this toe section. I feel like up at the toe box for the Curry 8, it was a bit hard. Here with the Curry 9, it's a lot softer. You also have a tongue on this shoe and it has that traditional sneaker build, whereas the Curry 8 was more like a sock structure. So the Curry 9 is a lot easier to just get on your foot. Not saying that the Curry 8 was hard to get on your foot, not like a Yeezy basketball knit, but the Curry 9 is just straightforward. You slip your foot in and you can use your tongue and this little scoop at the back to maneuver your foot in a little bit easier. I bought these in a US size 11, which is my natural shoe size, and going true to size was actually perfect for me. When I buy performance shoes, I do like it to be a snug fit to kind of fit me one of one and the Curry 9 checks that box. It's definitely a one-of-one -one fit. You don't have a ton of room for your foot to be slipping and sliding in, but it's still not necessarily tight on your foot. You do have a little bit of room up there. But yeah, maybe that is everything on the Curry 9 Now You See Me, AKA the Abby Kadabi. I think it's a super solid basketball shoe. If you're buying these with the purpose of playing basketball, I think you're getting a great buy. I don't know if I would personally wear them for aesthetic purposes. Like you're not going out to the club wearing the Curry 9s. Definitely looking forward to the Floatros, especially that pink pair. Steph has actually never lost in the playoffs wearing that pink pair. So already it makes me think that they're gonna be a hard pair to get your hands on. I think that white and red pair has released in China. So hopefully that does release at some point here in the United States. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this review of the Curry 9 Now You See Me, AKA the Abby Kadabi. Shout out to Sesame Street. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and if you made it to this point in the video, comment phonem. And again, remember to sign up for the membership on this channel so that you can watch videos early, get your membership shout outs, and use the really cool badges that might be it honestly yeah i'll see you guys on the next one peace what am i supposed to be saying ah uh, god yeah um feel free to go back and um you know do that thing oh man what am i doing anyways thank you guys for tuning in and watching this review of the curry nine But they're cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Wait, that's okay.